हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू बर्न योर बुक्स ओपन योर माइंड आई एम योर फ्रेंड एंड होस्ट बाय बोइम एंड यू आर वाचिंग फाउंडेशन फॉर मी वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड विद द कोर्स एंड आवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज लाइफ प्रोसेसेस डाइजेशन एंड एब्जॉर्प्शन द सेकंड टॉपिक इन दिस चैप्टर इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू न्यूट्रिशन सो लेट्स बिगिन all living organisms require energy and other raw materials for performing all vital activities and for body building repair growth development and regulation both energy and raw materials are obtained from food that contains number of nutrients the major nutrients are carbohydrates fats proteins minerals and vitamins the whole process by which an organism obtain these nutrients as well as utilizes them is referred to as nutrition so they are saying that nutrition is the process by which an organism obtain nutrients and utilizes them utilizes them in the way that the energy or whatever energy is used for doing some work and the raw materials are used for building so the next thing is nutrient a nutrient is an organic made of carbon and hydrogen or inorganic substance required for the maintenance of life and survival of a living organism there are various types of nutrients on the basis of function they perform the organic constituents of nutrients are carbohydrates lipids proteins nucleic acids and vitamins so these are composed of carbon and hydrogen majorly the inorganic constituents of nutrients are minerals and water which are not composed of carbon so now depending upon the quantity and functions nutrient can be of the following types if they are required in large quantity they are called as macronutrients and the these nutrients mainly provide energy and build up of body structure so material for the body building so carbohydrates fats and proteins are the major macronutrients micronutrients do not provide energy but their deficiency causes specific disease and abnormalities in animals including humans examples of micronutrients are minerals and vitamins they are important components of many cofactors that are important for enzyme action so even though they do not provide direct structural role or energy they are important parts of molecules that functions as enzyme so both minerals as well as vitamins are important and are considered as micronutrients moving on to classes of nutrients carbohydrates the first macronutrients they are compounds of carbon hydrogen and oxygen then why they are called as saccharides because they taste like sugar most of them as their basic components are sugar but not all sugars are carbohydrates neither all carbohydrates are sugar in taste these are classified as monosaccharides disaccharides and polysaccharides so now what are monosaccharides mono means one single and saccharide means sugar so monosaccharide means single sugar they are called as simple sugar because they cannot be further digested they do not need to be digested and are directly absorbed so there is no need for digestion they are composed of 3 to 7 carbon atoms so in front of you you can see the structure of glucose galactose and fructose all are hexoses because they are composed of 6 carbon atom important monosaccharides glucose fructose and galactose now disaccharides are made up of two units of monosaccharides they are first converted into monosaccharides and then absorbed by the body so important disaccharides are sucrose another name for which is table sugar and is made of glucose and fructose malt sugar or maltose made up of glucose and glucose and last one is lactose or milk sugar which is composed of glucose and galactose polysaccharides are polymers they are made up of many units of monosaccharides or you can say multiple units of monosaccharides joined together to form a poly or oligosaccharide several units then oligosaccharide if many many units are there 
then you will call it as a polysaccharide they are also called as macromolecules because they are made up of n units of monosaccharides they are these are storage carbohydrates so basically they are function as storage carbohydrates they require digestion means they can be broken down hydrolysis means on the addition of water lysis means cutting down so hydro means water lysis means, means to break so hydrolysis means to break on addition of water so they can be broken down into simpler components in addition upon addition of water important polysaccharides are glycogen starch cellulose and inulin chitin peptidoglycan hyaluronic acid agar are heteropolysaccharides homo if they are made up of one type of unit heteropolysaccharide if they are made up of different types of subunit so in front of you you can see the structure of starch glycogen and cellulose starch and glycogen function as storing molecules starch in plants glycogen in animals cellulose plays only structural role in plants and is not digested in humans next is proteins they are the next macromolecules these are large and complex molecules made of amino acids which are the structural unit of proteins so they are saying that proteins are made up of smaller units which are called as amino acids they usually contain carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen but some proteins may also contain sulfur and phosphorus there are 200 different types of amino acids of these 20 amino acids are present in most proteins the most abundant protein in the animal world is collagen and rubisco or ribulose biphosphate carboxylase oxygenase is the most abundant protein in the whole biosphere this is present in plants so these proteins they have four different levels of structure the primary secondary tertiary and quaternary and this is on the basis of polypeptide chain proteins function as enzymes defense proteins hormones receptor proteins transport proteins structural proteins now the next major macromolecule is lipid or fat they are mainly made of fatty acids and glycerol they produce more energy than carbohydrates they are water insoluble that is they are non polar in nature and will only dissolve in non polar solvent such as ether benzene and acetone they will not dissolve in polar solvent the lipids are not polymers they are assembled from smaller molecules but are not polymers because they do not they are not made up of repeating units common common sources of fats are butter cream vegetable oil animal oil fat and fish oil vitamins they are defined as naturally occurring organic substances which are required in minute very small amounts to maintain normal health in food and they cannot be generally synthesized by the organism they are classified into two main groups fat soluble if they dissolve in fat and water soluble if they dissolve in water vitamin a d e and k are fat soluble vitamin b complex and c are water soluble here is the structure of vitamin a minerals more than 50 minerals can be found in the human body and are required for growth repair regulation of osmotic pressure and other vital processes in front of the screen are the major minerals in our body that are required sodium copper potassium fluorine calcium magnesium manganese cobalt zinc phosphorus chlorine iron and iodine now water is defined as essential nutrient because it is required in amounts that exceeds the body's ability to produce it all biochemical reactions occur in water it fills the spaces in and between cells and helps in forming structures of large molecules such as protein and glycogen water acts as a building material as a solvent as a reaction medium reactant reaction product as a carrier for nutrients and waste products in thermoregulation as a lubricant and as a shock absorber Hope you like this video you are watching burn your books open your mind